Okay, and uh, just give me the rundown on what happened here today. Well, at 8.54 today, we a 911 call came in. We're not sure, I'm not sure if it came in through the construction company or somebody that just smelled the gas, but at that point, very high concentrations of that rotten egg smell was in this area. So construction crew apparently snagged or hit a four inch main of natural gas. Very large pipe, possibility to take out an entire block if something bad did happen. But at this point, we have, eva we have evacuated within around a three block area here. Approximately 50 people have been evacuated. About eight structures have been evacuated. But our big worry here is and this happens around the country every so often, is natural gas will leak into the soil and it's gonna find its way, the best way out. And that could be into a home, into a business, it just seeping through the soil, through plumbing or utility lines. And it gets in and finds a source of, of fire, of flame, then it can ignite, of course. So, and that's exactly what's going on here. It's seeping into the soil through this utility vault where the break supposedly is. So. That's why we've evacuated and why we're concerned here today. So what do you guys have to do to get it shut off or slowed down? Well, of course, Northwest Natural Gas is here on scene and uh, they are, they're working very diligently and trying to get this taken care of as fast as they can, but they have to weld that pipe. It's a steel pipe, not a, not a PVC pipe like most people would think of. So it, it sounds like they've got areas shut down. They've, they've limited the gas access to this area, but they are gonna have to shut some areas down and then weld that pipe to fix it. So it's gonna be several hours and the gas at this time is still flowing as far as we know. Okay, and uh, this road is, if not for this, this road is still open even with the construction? No, no, this road, Warner Milne, which we're on right now, is closed off and it's closed between Malala and Beaver Creek okay, Road. And that's, you know, everybody along in this area too has been evacuated except for this one business, the Pioneer Professional Center here on the corner. We feel they're okay because they're in the, they're downwind here. This is, the wind is really blowing up here today, which is very lucky for this situation. I mean, it couldn't happen under better circumstances weather-wise, not raining and high winds. Natural gas dissipates very quickly in the air, and then you add the wind to it, and it dissipates very quickly. So you may not smell anything right here, but we've had very high concentration levels from our firefighters that are near the scene up there. And of course, they're, they're in all of their gear, breathing air, the, the guys that are the closest. But, and so, so do you know how many businesses you had to shut down around here? Well, I believe it was eight structures. I don't know which, we have a church here, a very large structure, but of course, not very many people in there today. But we, we shut down, and not shut down, but evacuated Bugatti's restaurant, and they'll be shut down through lunch. So, yeah. you know, you can't have lunch at Bugatti's today. And, and there's a doctor's office and, and a few residences here. So upwards of 50 people, about seven or eight structures have been, shut, have been evacuated today. Okay. Is there anything you'd like to add that I didn't ask you? Uh, I don't think so. I think the people, I guess the, the one thing that we want to remind people, anytime you do smell that rotten egg smell, which we all know that you know you smell when that natural gas is out there, just to call 911 right away. And that's exactly what happened here. They called right away and were able to get it contained. So far, nobody's been injured and that's, that's a perfect scenario. So people just remember to call 911 when you smell that smell. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. I appreciate it. Hey, you bet, man, anytime.